everyone. Uh, my name is Catherine. I'm an independent consultant with uh, Gel Moment. Um, I recently became a, um, an independent consultant in September after starting to use Gel Moment just for myself in the summer. Um, I basically fell in love with the product and how simple and convenient it is for me for application. Um, and I just weighed my options and really found this a great opportunity for me to get into something. And I love doing my nails and um, always having nail polish on is, is kind of my thing. Um, so I found it was a great opportunity for me. So I want to tell you a little bit about Gel Moment and how easy it is to do. I have some polish already on for you and I've left two um, open for me to put on for you tonight. Um, so to start off, you want to have a couple things at the ready. So we have cuticle pushers through Gel Moment and as you can see, there's two different sides. I use this side for uh, removing my polish after I have my uh, removers on. There's two different ones and I'll talk to you about that. And there's a cuticle pusher on the other side. So that one you're going to want to have. Um, that is 1030 uh, for, for, through Gel Moment, but if you have any other one, um, you can use as well. I just find this one um, the best for, for me removing. Um, you also want some sort of na nail file. So this is the nail file I use. It comes in a pack of two and they're in the, the nice like regular size ones, but you need to have one that has a file on the one side and a buffer on the other. Um, the buffer is very important, so you can't just have a regular one. Um, but as long as it has those two sides, you're good to go. So we have mini files uh, with Gel Moment, as well as these nice big ones. I just like these. I have two. I have one in my bag at all times, and um, I have one for when I'm doing my, my stuff here. Um, the other thing you want to have is some sort of cleanser. And um, I've gone between a couple different things. Uh, we have our cleanser boxes through Gel Moment. Um, this is a pack of 50. Um, sorry, you can't see that very well. There we go. Pack of 50. Um, and they're really, really easy. All you have to do is um, tear them open. And I only use one on my, my hands um, to get both of them done. Just one uh, of these is perfect. So you'll get quite a few uses out of it. Um, the other thing you can do is you don't have to use a cleanser through Gel Moment. Um, I've also used uh, hydrogen peroxide. Um, so any sort of alcohol um, you can use. And um, you really want to make sure when you're doing this, you're not using any sort of cotton ball um, to, to take that off because um, you're going to leave some sort of like residue with the cotton on your, your um, fingers. And what we're trying to do is take off what you've buffed um, before you apply. So you want a clean surface. So any sort of, um, anything that you have that, you, that is just like something that wouldn't have any sort of cotton on it is what you want to use. Um, so no Kleenex or anything like that. Um, the other really good thing is when you're actually washing your hands, um, through this is, is using Dawn dish soap. So, um, this is really good if you have oily, uh, beds and I do. Um, I've always had an issue with, uh, keeping nail polish on any gel or shellac because, um, I have such oily nails. So, uh, Dawn dish soap is so great for removing oils when you're doing dishes works the same thing for your hands. So um, that's a really good thing to, to, to uh, access if, the, if you're having that struggle with oils. Um, and there's two different removers I wanna talk about. So the first one I ch uh, chose to start with was Flake Off. And um, it's kind of like um, jelly inside. Um, I wish I could, yeah, I think you can see that. It's got a jelly inside. So it's one of those things that you wanna actually keep uh, close to your skin for about 10 to 15 minutes because uh, the heat will activate this and make it a little bit easier to put on. Um, I like to also roll it between my hands to just get that nice and warm. So you'll actually put that all over your um, your hands and then you'll just kind of sit and wait for that to activate. Um, I like to leave them on for uh, about 10 to 15 minutes uh, so that you're giving it enough time to actually um, get through um, your, your polish. Um, the other option is our uh, gentle care removers through Gel Moment. Um, there's packs of 50 and 100. I have the, the 100 that I'm showing you here. Um, and they come with all um, just very similar to the cleanser pads. They're all about this size. 
and um, you open it up, it tears off the top. I'm not gonna do one right now. Um, and then you'll put it on. There's a little pad inside with the, um, uh, the uh, acetone um, and you'll stick your finger in. There's a little, little um, lip here that you'll tear that back and it will actually allow for you to put it on and then wrap it around so that it'll stay. We also have these clips through Gel Moment, which you're more than welcome to uh, purchase as well. They're really easy to put on. And when it comes to uh, the removers, I personally have moved to the Gentle Care removers because of how easy they are to use. Um, I like that I can put these on and even have the clips on and I can go about my um, my chores uh, doing laundry um, and doing things whereas when you put the flake on uh, on you're kind of sitting there waiting for it to happen so that you can push everything off so I've moved to the gentle care removers because um, the flake off wasn't really working for me. I didn't like how easy it was and I felt like I was really pushing to get it off my nails. I don't know if it was maybe because I have um, those oily nail beds, but um, I find that if I leave the remover on for um, about 10 minutes, um, I, I will have it almost coming off when I actually take it off my nail. So that's great. Uh, it's it's all about preference. So whatever works for you um they're 15 dollars each to purchase so if you find like if you purchase one and it's not working for you you can always kind of go for the other one it's not really that expensive of a purchase so you can always try it out for the next time um so for both of those you're gonna want to buff with this side buff all the shine off of your nails to make sure that it has a um, the ability to really penetrate into that uh, polish so that you can take it off. So you'll use this end of your cuticle pusher um, to actually take off your polish. So I have polish on right now and I haven't done the cleanser pad, but you start at the top and you push down and down around the sides. You never want to push up because if you start to push up, you're going to uh, potentially come up and actually hurt your cuticle or your or your finger. Um, so you always want to take it and push downwards. And if you've left it on long enough, you should have no trouble. It comes right off. Um, and if you're struggling at the end part here, I just kind of put my nail um, just up against the uh, the table or whatever I'm using. And I just uh, kind of touch, touch the, the end of it to really get that off. And sometimes with our, our darker colors, um, you'll sometimes find that uh, there's almost a little bit of a, a, a tinge of it still there. Um, I find, especially with my reds and my pinks uh, or my blues. So you can always take your, um, your gel moment um, nail file and use the buffer side and just buff that away. Um, you can even use your file part if it's, if it's a really uh, tough part trying to come off. Um, super easy. These are non-toxic, so you know that you're using something that is um, is is healthy and, and okay for you. Um, you don't have any of those um, those issues that you're putting on your your um, your skin or your nail. Um, so I like to uh, use that up to 10 minutes. It's a preference, though. You kind of find what works for you. Um, I like to leave it on longer. It just I know that it's going to come off then. So. I always make sure that I have buffed my nails. As, I've, as you've seen, I already have my nails all done. Um, and then I'm gonna do the two for you. I always buff and shape my nails before I start to do anything. Um, you wanna have that, um, that good surface ready for your, your um, polish to uh, be applied. Um, so I push back my cuticles and I file them to shape. And I always warm up my polish beforehand and I keep touching here because I like to put it in my bra. It's just easier for me. Um, uh, or you can put it between your legs or in your, your waistband of your pants. Um, so I always warm that polish up first to make sure that it's ready to go. Um, and that's what I, I just put it in before I start doing all my shaping um, to make sure my nails are all good to go. I find that um, because the polish stays on for so long, I find that I'm having to really shape my, or cut my nails down um, almost after every application. Um, I think because it just, it, my, my nails grow really quickly, so 
Um, I'm kind of lucky on that part, part, that part. When you take your, um, your polish out, you don't want to shake the polish because, um, the polish is, doesn't have that ball, that metal ball that you have in, um, drugstore, um, polish. And you want to actually roll it between your hands to kind of mix that up. And, uh, what's really important is, um, you've done your buffing and you've used your cleanser and everything is all nice and clean for your application. So I take it out, I roll it, it's nice and warm. It's been in there for about 15, 20 minutes while I was setting up. And uh, you want to wipe the majority of your uh, color off. Oh, and if you're curious, I'm using Ballerina. Oh, you can't see that right there. It is almost the color of my shirt. It's beautiful. Um, as you can see it here, it's one of my go-tos. It's just gorgeous. Um, I'd like it for any season. Um, and it's just a nice neutral color for me uh, with a little touch of color. So, um, I wipe the, the majority of my polish off there. I'm going to bring you down so you can see the application here. And, uh, you're going to want to make sure that you're applying this with a gap before your cuticle, before your cuticle. Um, because if you go too far and too close to your, uh, your nail bed, you're going to have trouble with the fact that, um, it may want to start to come off and peel off. It's a little bit tougher for it to stay on. So you want to leave a bit of a gap on either side and right before your cuticle and really nice thin layers is important. So there's my one done and I'll do this one here. I'll also show you what capping is all about. Capping is um, using your tip of your nail brush and going along the end of your nail. So I'll show you that in just a second. Um, the reason you want to cap is because then you're giving um, the the end of your nail the extra support with to, to try and keep from um, from chips or any sort of issues you might have. So you come across just along the end. I almost always get some on my uh, skin. So I just kind of take my nail or my cuticle pusher and I just go along and get that all ready to go. It's also really important once you're done your application before you put it under the lamps, you want to make sure you actually cap your polish and put it off to the side. And the reason why is because, I'm just gonna stick my nails under here as you can see. The reason why is because um, if you leave it next to the light, the, L, um, the, the lamp will actually make it so that this will clump and get a little bit thick because it's actually curing it. Um, so while I have that on, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the different lamps. Um, this lamp I'm using is the two finger lamp. It's 2750 and it takes a lot longer to do because you're using two fingers, two fingers. Um, and then I usually do my thumbs together and then the rest of my hand. Um, it takes a little bit longer cause you're, you're doing just the two, um, but it's great for travel. Um, I started with this one and I have my eyes on the next one. Um, especially because they are a thousand hours and they're guaranteed for life. So if you have any issues with the bulb, um, you will always be able to uh, contact and get a new one. They'll send it out. No questions asked. Um, so it's fantastic for that. Um, there's also the four finger professional lamp and that's $45. Um, it just makes it a little bit easier. You can put four in one side, four in the other, and then thumbs. And then the next one is the deluxe, which is what I've got my eye on. Uh, the reason why is because it has a thicker, um, area for you to put your hand into. 
and your feet into. So I've struggled. I've had a couple times where I've put mine in, obviously, to this small little one. And um, I've had the issue of, of scuffing it here and there. And it takes much longer to do, especially for your feet. And it's kind of awkward with your feet, obviously. Um, so I'm going to go for the deluxe one uh, next. This works. There's no issue with, with doing just one like this. Um, it will work for you. It, it's all based on how often you do your nails and what works for you and what's in your budget. Um, so yeah, so I've, uh, this is my favorite. Uh, this is the one that I started with, but I'm going to upgrade to another one. So I've uh, just done my um, first coat. What's great about th this color and most of our colors, you only have to do two coats and it's perfect. Sometimes with some of my lighter pinks or um, ones that are a little bit more see-through or transparent, um, I do the third coat just for extra um, coverage. I just like to make sure that it doesn't look transparent. I want it to be a, a solid color. So I'm gonna bring you down again and do my second coat here. So I've capped this already because I want to make sure that I'm not curing it. And again, I'm going to wipe off most of what I have on my brush. It's all about doing very thin coats. And you can do as many coats as you want, whatever it, your preference is. So I've, I've put my middle finger on here and I'm going to cap at the end wipe away what's gotten on my hand there and what's great about that is you don't have to be concerned about getting anything on your nail and then having the concern of not taking it off because it's only cured when you put it under the lamp so if you're unhappy with what you've done or you think you can do a better job on something don't worry wipe it off restart it there's no issue there I know I did that at the beginning um, while I was getting used to the product. So you don't have to worry about not, about it curing without the light. So I put that under, I'm going for my second round here. So I don't know about you, but I was notorious for um, getting a glass of wine or um or and putting on a movie or a tv show and uh, just relaxing um and doing my nails at night that was typically my time in the day to do it and then i'd go to bed and i'd usually put my hands under my pillow or sleep on my hand and i always woke up with that um terrible uh bed sheet uh design on my nails um, I know I've done that many a time and then I only get two days out of it maybe without it chipping. Um, I play a lot of sports. Um, I like to be active. I, um, I like to garden. I do those things where I'm sure you're active and, and your hands are being chipped away at. I want something that's going to stay on there and that wasn't doing it for me, the store-bought stuff. So those are now instantly dry. I'm touching them now because you don't want to touch them in between your uh, applications because of the oils on your fingers. So these are now perfect. I'm good to go. Um, I'm not going to do any designs on here, but there is always the option of things like that. Um, I just recently got some uh, fun nail kit art stuff. Um, which I'm playing around with. Um, that stuff you could then do after you've completed this. And then any sort of uh, nail kit art or uh, any of our chromes that you want to put on. I love the chromes. I'm kind of obsessed with them. Um, they, they can go on and then they are uh, capped with a clear leak frisky. So all it is is just a regular clear coat so that it caps uh, that color in. This is the one that I bet buy the most of because I do so many fun things on my uh, my fingernails usually so this is going to uh, hold everything in it's a great buy um, especially for any sort of uh, chromes uh, or decals that you want to add on uh, it takes one coat a cure and you're good to go so uh, that's a fun one and, a, and usually a, a, a hot seller so um, 
The other thing I wanted to talk about was just how great the fact that these are, this is non-toxic. Um, I know, uh, I know of a lot of moms who like to do their daughter's nails. Um, and you know that what you're putting on your kids' hands is non-toxic and uh, not garbage. Um, because that, I mean, it's a living organ, right? Um, I know that it's good for me and I would want it for my own kids. Um, I love the fact that it stays on, it lasts, and it's gorgeous. I like how easy it is for me. If I do end up chipping a nail, I can always fix that one nail up, no problem. Um, the uh, bottles of these are $25 each, so they're pretty um, easy to buy. Like They're not a, a, an arm and a leg. Um, so I love the fact that I can purchase something that is in my price range. It's easy. Uh, you're not booking times for going to a salon to, especially during COVID with the fact that we haven't had that option. Um, so that was the reason why I, uh, really went for the idea of this. Um, I started with, um, nine and, um, a starter kit of, uh, all the things that I would need. Uh, which I will be posting some more information about. And uh, it got me started and then I kind of just added to my, um, my stuff as, uh, as I continued on. Um, and that was the reason why I looked into being a consultant because uh, of how easy it is to uh, make money to buy. So um, if you're interested in anything like that, I can give you more information. Um, and. I just, I love the product. It's the reason why I've uh, opened it up to all my girlfriends to show them how awesome this is. Um, and it's something that I feel very proud of and, and, and happy to be able to share because it makes me so happy. Um, so please reach out if you have any questions for me. Um, I can message you back anytime. Um, and I just want to thank you for uh, coming and joining me on this video. Um, and yeah, I hope I didn't forget anything. <laughs> um, before I head off, the other things I wanted to show were um, Fortify. I just had this on my nails before I did uh, my color. And uh, this has been fantastic for me because I have such thin and brittle nails. Um, I have been quite concerned about it because my hair is very thin, my nails are very thin, and I use this in between and it has really helped them grow. Uh, and my other very recent purchase was my Almond Quench. Uh, I just got this um, about a week and a half, two weeks ago, and I've been using that on my cuticles, and I am so happy with how it has made everything feel so, especially during the winter time, so moisturized, and I'm, I've seen a big difference. You can use this on your nails as well as your cuticles, and uh, it really has made a difference for my, my fingernails only for the, a, a couple weeks. Um, so those were just a couple things that I really, really love. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed tonight and um, I hope you get some time to relax. Uh, thank you so much for joining me and uh, reach out if you have anything um, to share or comment or ask questions about. Thank you so much. Bye.